The actions of today's Manhua begin in some amazing world. Judging by the construction to which we are moving, this is ancient China or something like that. After a couple of moments, the frame moves a little lower, and we watch a man dressed in a blue robe working hard on some strange field. He gives his all to 100. Next, we watch this man in close-up. This guy with long blue hair and a mark on his forehead wipes the sweat from his forehead and realizes that he has finally finished the 108th field of peonies. Suddenly, in front of this guy, immediately after he finished his everyday work, a system notification pops up stating that he has a registered reward from a quest called An Appeal to the Mahayana, Free from Doubts. Next, this guy looks puzzled at this panel in front of him because he didn't understand anything at all. He didn't even catch how much his strength increased after this strange thing increased to level 9. That is why our main character, when accessing the system, opens a window with his characteristics. This guy's name is Qin Tian. He is 23 years old. His strength is rated at 3 stars, speed at 4, and intelligence at 1. After our main character reads that his intelligence is rated at 1 star, he is indignant, because at this rate he will not be able to hurt anyone in this strange world. Moreover, in the skills, our main character only has this strange skill called turning to the Mahayana, free from doubts, and some kind of limit for a first-level initiate is also mentioned. Clenching his fist and looking into the distance, our main character slowly pronounces the word half-sacred. He hopes that he can quickly find the one who is known as Qing Shui. After our main character decides on his goal for the future, he takes his hoe and, imagining some waifu instead, begins to kiss and hug her. But this romance between the Ho and our main character is abruptly interrupted after some charming girl with a blue dress and blonde hair approaches him. She is surprised by the actions of her brother. Immediately after our main character realizes that he was caught at the wrong moment, he throws away his hoe and tries to convince his sister mentor that she understood everything wrong. But suddenly this girl with a beautiful appearance just comes up to our main character and puts her gentle hand on his cheek. This guy clearly didn't expect this, so he's a little surprised. Next, this girl allows our main character to explore her inner world a little. She tells her mentor brother that he has grown up, and from now on, his mentor sister will often keep him company. But after a couple of moments, our main character runs out of oxygen, and he abruptly emerges from the inner world of this waifu. The embarrassed guy doesn't even know what to say. But after our main character tries to say something, this charming girl simply puts her finger on his mouth. She probably meant mewing. She told the guy that she understands everything. Next, this girl began to talk about how her brother should stop his behavior, despite the fact that he has matured, and at the top of the hidden sword he is all alone. In the dead of night, it is difficult to endure loneliness. Kintian answers this girl that she doesn't understand anything, then he still asks his sister if she came to him on this mountain to solve some matter. In response to this, this waifu turns and tells the guy that she strongly doubts that he is busy with something here. Then she reports that today an adept is performing in Kunlunjian, so he was allowed to come. The girl continues saying that after sister mentor Jang left and he became the head of the Hidden Sword Peak, he did not accept the adept, so the head of the sect has claims against him. Kintian replies that training an adept is a very difficult process and he will go to this event as a decoration. He tells the girl that he will go to change clothes, but she wants to go with him, which she refuses. At this point, the course of events is abruptly transferred not very far from the previous place. We are watching two suspicious people in robes, one informs the other that the Sacred Maiden has fled to the Kunlunjian sect. The second continues the conversation saying that now the head will need to make a decision. After these two finish their conversation, they decide to return to the demonic sect. At this moment, the course of events once again breaks off, and we continue when we are transported to the lowland, not far from the mountain where our main character was. Here, everything is in full swing. In the next frame, we are shown a stunning beauty whose name is Mo Wen Tian. She is the very head of the Kunlunjian sect, and it is clear from her that she is an important shot. A moment later, we watch as the head of the sect, turning to the side, sees our main character who came down from his mountain. This time, he looked much more elegant than last time. Everyone is incredibly admired by the head of Chin Peak because he has incredible beauty and pronounced cheekbones due to his mewing. The girls around are crazy about the sophisticated aristocrat. However, the crowd consisting of men has a slightly different opinion about our main character. Because the usual limit of a living spirit, he also had the impudence to come to this ceremony. A couple of moments after this, our main character sits down next to the head of the sect. At this moment, he reads a super rare S-class publication about a thousand ways to do nothing at all. After the sect leader reads the cover of this book, she powerfully hits the guy on the head, saying that the formidable head of the peak of the hidden sword has sunk to the point of playing the fool every day. 
Moreover, having such a powerful title, our main character is only at the level of a simple limit of a living spirit. Holding his head, Chin reminds that they invited him themselves. After this very powerful sect leader hears some answer from our main character, she asks him if he is really brave enough to contradict her. At this moment, our main character feels like a real little weak ant, because in front of him is now a real Sigma mommy who is ready to punish him to the fullest. But after a couple of moments, the same girl who climbed the mountain to invite him manages to come to the rescue of our main character. She asks the head of the sect to stop teasing her brother. This charming waifu continues to say that Sister Jiang several thousand years ago became the only mistress of the limit of holiness. Since she liked Brother Chin, then he has some kind of insight. Our main character at this moment is in an incredibly controversial position. On the one hand, he is surrounded by two cool waifus, and on the other hand, everything is the same. The crowd is standing and watching this in shock. One of the men from the crowd wonders how it is possible not to improve. Are Sigma beauties really allowed to do whatever they want? The second also wonders who would have thought that even one of the greats would fall for the hook. However, all these conversations end abruptly after the head of this sect raises her hand in order to attract the attention of everyone around her. She declares that the test begins. Immediately after this, the course of events is transferred to some table on which there are three magic spheres. Three whole lines are lined up for them, just like in a store on the day of discounts on chocolate milk. Approaching a little closer to the participants of this test, we observe a wide range of emotions. Someone is very happy that he passed this magic ball test, and someone is indignant at his failure. Further, we understand that this test is carried out not only by this magic ball, because behind each such strange thing there is another person. The old man announces the next one to the participant named An Miao Lin. A moment later we see that same An Miao in front of us. She looks simply beautiful. And everyone who stands around also understands this and enthusiastically praises her incredible beauty. Approaching random participants in this ceremony, we observe a man who shouts that this is his waifu. But a moment later, he receives a hook in the face in response to the answer to why he was hit. They answer him to make sure that he is not sleeping. Meanwhile, this incredible beauty who caused a big stir with her mere appearance approaches the magic ball to place her hand on it to calculate her power. As soon as this girl touched this magical ball a little, which was able to determine the magical potential, a huge amount of power began to emanate from it at that very moment. Everyone around was in complete shock after they saw the reaction the magic ball gave to this girl. Even our main character at that moment was distracted from his fascinating reading. Immediately after everyone who was around saw this crazy potential that this waifu with white hair had, everyone who was far away immediately went to her. After many reached this girl, they immediately began to offer this incredibly strong girl to become an adherent of their sex. Everyone began to fight for her. This girl was even offered to become an adept by the head herself. Surprisingly, she was refused. After everyone realized that this girl had refused the head herself, they realized that they had a chance. This girl was surrounded by a variety of heads of various sects. They all wanted her to become an adherent of her particular sect. They began to offer her a variety of privileges to increase her chances. After the head of the sect realized that she had been refused, she told this girl that she could choose for herself which peak she wanted to go to. She added that she could climb with her resources. While the head of the sect continued to tell this girl that she would not be able to ascend without her, this girl suddenly turned around and saw our main character who did not show any interest in her. Our main character, who continued to read the manual on how to do Myung, was very surprised after he realized that this waifu with incredibly high potential was looking at him. A moment later, and Miao pointed his index finger at our sitting protagonist and declared in front of everyone that she wanted to join the top of the hidden sword, that is, our protagonist. From such a loud statement, our protagonist's eyes decided to leave their sockets. He pointed a puzzled finger at himself and asked what it was. After all, he was just watching. Why is he even here? Next, they decided to tell us a little story about this girl. And Miao Lin in a past life was glorified in legends by her cruel empress. But judging by the picture, something went wrong. After this girl continued to go on a rampage and do terrible things, everything stopped after she met the third strongman in the empire who betrayed and killed her. Having been reborn in this life, she almost became a cauldron for smelting the immortality of the head of a demonic sect. But she managed to escape such a fate because she was able to escape from this nightmare. After she managed to escape from the head of the demonic sect, she joined the Kunlunjian sect and there she began to look for the weakest teacher, which is why she chose our main character. At that moment, all she needed was not to reveal her real identity, and with the help of the notes of the highest dispassionate one, she would definitely be able to regain her empire. And when the time comes, they would certainly destroy these people. 
But now thinking about these grandiose plans is probably very far away for this girl, because she needs to continue to get out in every possible way and hide her real identity from all the people around her. A couple of moments after this girl decided to become an adherent of our main character, we are transported to his mountain where he brings her, going into the back with her. Even the dog is surprised by her appearance. After this girl, who used to be an empress and is very cruel, gets into this room, she immediately decides to check the dust level because it all doesn't look very luxurious. Meanwhile, our main character standing behind tells this girl that it seems to them that this particular room is very suitable for this girl. At this moment, she wonders if the guy was taught hygiene. After a couple of moments, this girl still notices a huge amount of dust in the air, which is why she begins to cough and tries to fight the dust with her bare hands. The guy watches all this from the side. Meanwhile, our main character begins to slowly approach this girl with his arm outstretched towards her. It is clear from his face that he is prepared as much as possible for what he will do right now. After a couple of moments, our main character finally reaches this girl, and he puts his hand on the cheek of this beautiful waifu. Meanwhile, he is simply shocked by this action and is in a stupor for some time. But after this girl comes to her senses, she simply cannot believe the fact that right now she was being touched everywhere possible. At this moment, the guy does not understand what she is even talking about. Our main character still decides to explain himself to this strange girl. He tells her that there was dirt on her face and he just wiped it off. He asked her why she reacted so strangely. However, judging by the way this girl behaved now, she was not ready to answer this question quickly because after this happened, she moved 10 meters away from this guy. Despite the fact that everything was explained to this girl, she continued to be in a stunned state. She still could not believe what had happened. The touch of Sigma was probably alien to her, but our main character is not bothered by this, asking her to stop. He says that since she recognized him as her teacher, that is, there are rules that she must follow. The girl at that moment is thinking about something else. The girl can't get out of her head that in a past life other men didn't even dare to look at her, and our main character just came up and touched her as roughly as possible. The guy continued the conversation by saying that the first rule is that he is a very busy person. Growing vegetables and watering flowers takes a lot of time, so he doesn't have time to study. While this former empress was thinking that she would cut off our main character's finger, he continued to say that from time to time, he would give his new students some small assignments. Our main character, meanwhile, continued to familiarize this girl with the rules of the house in which she ended up of her own free will. Meanwhile, the girl decided that she would cut off the guy's not only a finger, but also his hand. After our main character finished explaining all the rules that she must follow, he sat down on the nearest chair and asked his new student if she still had the desire to be his student. But despite the not very luxurious conditions, this girl bowed to our main character and told him that she still wants to be his student. The guy was surprised by the fact that she bowed to the teacher with a weapon in her hands. Despite the fact that this girl did not show her anger, she was already thinking that she would cut off two whole hands of our main character for his attitude, which she apparently did not like at all. After this girl officially became a student of our main hero, the system revealed to him that he had received an empress who had been reborn as a student, and as a reward for this he received a bunch of bonuses. The guy was in great shock after he realized who he received as a student, and from the awards, he received the imperial weapon, increased all the learned skills by one level, and learned a special technique for handling the ball. A couple of moments after our main character realized the full scale of what was happening, he began to literally dance for joy and jump on the spot. But the girl at that moment did not understand what he was doing. After Chin Tian realized that he was still being watched, he immediately looked serious and, clearing his throat into his fist, continued saying that since she finally recognized him as her teacher. In this case, our main character gave a gift to his new student. Then the guy summoned a sword from his inventory and handed it to his new student, telling her to accept it. Looking at the sword that our main character was offering, this girl was very surprised by the fact that someone who is at such a low level of cultivation could pull out such a good thing. But after this girl took this weapon into her hands, she simply could not believe her eyes. Not only did it fit perfectly in her hand, but it was simply lovely. Another moment passes and, looking closer, this girl realizes that right now she is holding nothing more than an elite imperial weapon in her hands, which is a very rare thing. After the girl realized that she was holding an incredibly cool sword in her hands, she sheathed it and asked her teacher if he was really giving it to her. The guy replied that yes, because it must be quite good. The girl hears from our main character that he calls this legendary imperial sword quite good. She is very surprised and wonders if this guy will die from boasting. The worldly weapon technique and elixir of immortality are divided into the following stages. Golden, Black, Earth, Sky, Imperial, and August. Each stage in turn is divided into low, middle, 
high and highest ranks. In a past life, this girl, when she was an empress, met her death precisely because of low-rank weapons, because this was not enough to survive in battle. Returning to the real world, we watch as this girl asks our main character why he treats her so well, even when he has never met her before. In response to this, our main character scratches his head and asks the girl whether the teacher should give his student a welcome gift. After listening to the answer, this girl clearly heard some meaning. Chintian continued telling the girl that if she doesn't want to accept this sword, she can return it back, because he still has old socks lying around, which in his opinion can also pass for a gift. In response to this, the girl shouted to our main character that she didn't want his opponent's socks. She couldn't believe that it was really a gift from the teacher. It was incomprehensible. She decided to tie it, and then look. A couple of moments after this girl decided to tie our main character, she bit her finger in order to let a drop of her blood fall onto the blade she had just received. Immediately after a drop of this girl's blood touched the blade of the sword, a powerful reaction occurred. Powerful streams of force began to emanate from the sword, which were capable of destroying everything around. This waifu watched in shock as this sword continued to become more and more powerful, and he was not going to slow down at all. She did not understand why he had such a powerful reaction to her blood. A couple of seconds pass and we watch as the flow from this girl turns out to be so powerful that it easily breaks through the roof of our main character's house and continues into the sky. Even the head of the sect, who at that moment is somewhere in the lowlands and smoking his pipe, notices this powerful beam that, out of nowhere, is directed straight into the sky. This stream of powerful energy is much more powerful than it seems, because even some dragon who is sleeping somewhere far away opens its eye after this explosion is heard in the sky. The huge surge of energy was so powerful that it managed to attract even the head of the demonic sect, whom we had already seen in the girl's memories. He intended to visit the Kunlunjian sect. But our main character, unlike this girl, understood that this could not continue, which is why he approached this girl, and with one wave of his hand extinguished this incredible flash of the sword. Immediately after our main character stopped this powerful flow into the sky with a simple movement, it really dissipated, and the sky turned back to its normal blue color. Meanwhile, this girl who was holding this sword in her hands just a moment ago was terribly surprised because the sword had disappeared from her hands. Qin Tian asked her to stop playing because the head of the sect had appeared. However, at this moment, this girl did not think at all about the head of the sect who decided to visit this case. She could not get it out of her head that the guy extinguished the anomaly with one stroke. After a couple of moments, our main character, who understood that he would need to report to the head of the sect, asked this girl to go outside with him right now to meet the head. Then we find ourselves outside. We see the head of the sect who easily flies to such a height. This girl immediately worships this lady, thereby welcoming her. The guy just stands. After a couple of moments, this head descends to the ground in order to approach our main character, and taking him by the chin, tell him to be ashamed of himself for this. The guy asks the head what she is doing. The head of the sect continues by asking our main character to tell us about what just happened. She asks him if the hidden sword is the matter, in other words, she asks these two if they are responsible for the anomaly. Our main character responds by telling her to look at herself, because they both were able, with just the limit of a living spirit, to cause such great excitement among everyone around this anomaly. After this woman hears the explanation from our main character, he turns to the girl to ask if this is true. The guy adds, saying that this is just an anomaly that is already in the past. Our main character gets hit on the head, the head of the sect asks the guy what he even understands because this anomaly appeared on her kunlun, now she will have problems. The guy replies that everything is influenced by karma dream. While our main character continues to quote phrases from the Diamond Sutra, he asks the head to calm down. Then she walks away telling the two to be as careful as possible. Immediately after the head of the sect hit our main character on the head, she moved a little away from these two and then completely disappeared, watched by these two who were warned. A couple of moments after the head of the sect disappeared, the student of our protagonist extended her hand to summon the ice sword given to her straight into her hand. Immediately after this waifu was about to mentally summon this ice sword, it immediately appeared in the hands of this girl. She could not get enough of this cool S-rank weapon. Continuing to look at this sword in her hands, she could not believe that her teacher had at hand an elite imperial weapon that was capable of shaking the very heavens with its power. While our protagonist continued to suffer damage from the head of the sect, this girl also realized that her teacher was able to make anomalies disappear with just a wave of his hand. Next, this waifu decided to look at her teacher. She understood that he looked very awkward and some kind of loser, but after this incident, she realized that her teacher was clearly an interesting person. At this point, the course of events is abruptly interrupted, and we continue the next day. 
We watch as the rooster crows loudly to announce the beginning of the early morning and a new day. Moving into some kind of dungeon, we watch some black rooster who at that moment is performing the most difficult push-ups on one hand while standing on this hand. He has been continuing his training for a very long time. Continuing to train diligently until he sweated wildly, he realized that all he could do was to stubbornly and diligently harden himself every day, as soon as the opportunity arose to escape from the clutches of the demon. The rooster continues to train hard like a real gigachad and increase his natural testosterone levels. He is sure that he will have a bright future and he has something to fight for. But this poor dude's motivational speech ends abruptly after he is suddenly and violently grabbed by the throat, at which point his face is filled with serenity and weakness. Our main character entered this dungeon and his first target was that same mystical jock rooster. They asked and begged him to stop. But the guy didn't care at all. Everyone around was afraid. Then we watched as our main character at that moment looking like a real maniac was tearing off the feathers of this poor dude. They begged him to stop because it was just terribly painful. But despite all the plaintive requests, our main character continued to get these black feathers. They asked him to stop because a little more, and he would pull out absolutely all the feathers. Our main character, despite all the pleas, continued this terrible mental process. The screams were so loud that the building in which all this was happening began to shake. A moment later, we understand that despite all the hard training, this bird still received a crushing defeat, because at the end of his war, he was completely deprived of feathers and possibly life. Next, we understand that this building was actually a prison for demons, and Chin Tian at that moment takes out the carcass of this demon, noting that he has quite dense meat and is generally gigasid. The course of events shifts to the only student of our main character, who at this moment being in a bamboo forest, is depriving the poor pandas of her home, because she is training with her sword. Approaching this waifu even closer, we watch as this girl continues to train hard with her new powerful weapon. She tries to reveal the essence of this weapon as quickly as possible. A moment later, she opens her eyes because she has gained enough concentration to make another blow to the bamboos around her. And the entire budget was spent on drawing her eyes. Next, we watch as this girl makes a lightning strike on the leaves that were around her. In addition to the fact that this sword cuts everything with amazing sharpness, it also freezes everything it touches. After delivering this next blow, the girl sighs. She realizes that the essence of this sword is not as easy to understand as it seems, even taking into account her many years of experience from her past life as an empress. A couple of moments after this, training with the new sword Miao Ling is interrupted by our main character and the teacher of this girl, who, standing behind her, calls her to come and eat. The girl answered our main character that she had taken a fast, so she could not eat anything. But the guy clearly did not agree with this, and he struck the hilt of the sword with a frying pan at lightning speed. After Chin Tian appeared next to his student with lightning speed, he made the most serious face possible and said that in any case she needs to eat, because this is a necessary part of anyone's life. The girl was in complete shock after turning back she found our main character behind her. She didn't understand when he managed to appear here, and she also didn't understand what kind of rule this was. Approaching even closer to his student, and threatening with the most lethal weapon from PUBG, our main character answered his student that this is his rule, which his student must follow under any circumstances. Immediately after this, this waifu has no choice, and we continue. When these two go to eat, we observe a huge amount of different food, all of it cooked just perfectly. After this girl decides to smell all this food, she plunges into real nirvana. It all just smells great. After she sniffed it, she felt like she had already eaten. However, the amount of food that was on the table was not all that was on the menu today, because then we watch our main character take out chicken soup with a strange smile. The student calls his smile terrible. But Chin Tian, not paying attention to the hate, puts chicken soup on the table and tells the girl that after she eats, she should be able to cut the first level of the golden body limit. Immediately after our main character tells this to his only student, he gets up to give chicken soup to the girl. She asks her teacher if he is okay. The guy begins to tell that the limits of perfection are divided into withdrawal from the world, detachment from the world, living spirit, golden body, nirvana, creation, gender holiness, holiness, divinity, and nine heavens. In addition, each of these limits is also divided in turn into three more levels that must be overcome in order to get to the next limit of improvement. After this girl heard all this information from her teacher, she reached for her soup and asked him if he thought that breaking through the limit is as easy as eating. Immediately after this waifu tried to call her teacher a fool, because no one moves from food to a new stage of self-improvement and cultivation. But as soon as this girl took a sip of chicken soup prepared by our main character, something strange happened. She was visited by some shocking feeling after which she dropped the food from her hands. 
After our main character saw the reaction of his only student after she drank his chicken soup, he immediately, with a playful smile, asked himself whether the food had an effect on her. Next, we look at this student who at this moment is at the very peak of her feelings. She feels some previously unprecedented energy and feeling spreading and seething throughout her body. The girl continues to be under this strange effect after eating. She understands that the blood from the heart takes 20 or 25 seconds to complete a revolution, but this flow of heat only takes five seconds. But at some point, these feelings become too strong. The girl grabs her shoulders and tries with all her might to resist this feeling because a little more and she will not be able to control herself. While this very powerful flow of energy continues to concentrate in the girl's body, she, in turn, understands that if everything continues like this, she will definitely not last long under such pressure. A moment later, we understand that the effect of our main character's food still defeats this girl because she completely surrenders and surrenders to this feeling. She declares that she enjoys this taste. A couple of moments after this girl surrendered to the rush of emotions that raged throughout her body, she falls to the floor and sweat begins to pour from her face. Something unexpected happened. Posing in a rather attractive position for our protagonist's line of sight, his student wonders if her Gucci clothes really came through after she gave in to her emotions. A couple of moments after this, we are shown the face of our main character, which at that moment was quite expected. He clearly liked the spectacle because he was lucky to witness this. Next, Qin Tian, clearing his throat, reports that if the teacher says that he can help break through, then this is really so. Otherwise, he would not have wasted that three-legged raven king whom he killed. Hearing what our main character prepared this soup from, this girl was very surprised. She could not believe that the soup was made from such a rare animal as the three-legged raven king. After our main character's only student realized that her teacher really wasn't who he said he was, she realized that this guy definitely didn't stop at the stage of the limit of the living spirit. Continuing to look up at our main character, the girl understood that he was completely worthy of her as a student. And with this magnificent cooking, he could glow and become much stronger. But apparently this girl still had some questions, which is why she got up from the floor and went up to her teacher to ask her what interested her. Instead of listening to the question from his only student, Giga Chad closed her mouth with chopsticks. He said that people should always keep a sense of secret. For example, he has secrets and she. After this girl, who was an empress in her past life, heard this remark, she was very surprised and horrified and wondered if this guy knew who she really was. Despite the rather serious atmosphere that hung between these two, our main character immediately destroyed it by taking the girl's lips with two fingers and telling her not to forget to finish everything. After our main character made this slightly strange but sweet gesture, he turned around and began to leave. He also reminded this girl not to forget to clear the table when she was finished. Looking after her teacher, this waifu was simply in shock because this guy once again allowed himself to touch her absolutely everywhere and without permission. Sooner or later, she was going to cut off his hands. At this point, the course of events breaks off and we continue when the scene of events becomes snow-capped beautiful mountains. It is unclear why, but our main character finds himself in this place. Next, we watch a huge monster who, addressing our main character as a pathetic little man, asks him how he even dared to appear and who he is to appear so brazenly. The biggest monster of them, who was a pumped up dragon, asked him how he dares to come every day and catch their comrades, and today he came straight into their clutches. In response to these accusations, our main character asked the monsters not to worry about those whom he stole, because everything is fine with them, they have housing and food, but it's too late for a drunk, so he can't stay here. Next, our main character tells these monsters the purpose of his visit. He tells them that he came here to borrow the spirit and blood of the demon emperor, and the more he gets, the better. After the demon emperor heard this, she said that it sounded cool, and judging by her eyes, she was very cold. The second monster warned her to wake up because this guy wants to kill her. The monster immediately realized the fact that this time, Qin Tian had come to defeat everyone who was here in order to obtain the various materials he needed. After the guy easily dodged the dragon monster with the body of a Giga Chad, they continued to attack him. The next attack was from the Monkey King who tried to attack the guy from behind. A couple of moments after this battle continues, our main character realizes that it will not end peacefully, which is why he gets into a fighting stance in order to personally take what he needs. Immediately after this guy gets into a fighting stance, he directs a powerful magic projectile that was aimed straight at this monkey's staff. Judging by his appearance, the damage was impressive. A moment later, our protagonist's blue magic projectile reaches this staff, after which this pathetic stick breaks into two parts, leaving the monster completely unarmed on the battlefield. After the monkey realizes that he has just lost his weapon, he begins to panic, 
because the divine Zhuan Wu staff has just been broken right before his eyes. A couple of moments after one of our protagonist's opponents finds himself without a weapon, he immediately receives a blow from which he flies very far from the battlefield due to the guy's destructive power. Judging by the mood of our main character, he is not at all tired looking at the two monsters that are left in front of him. He asks them to attack quickly because he has business for which he is in a hurry. Meanwhile, the Dragon Gaga Chad monster understands that this guy is very strong, which is why he tells the demon girl to use some kind of technique. She agrees, but she really feels sorry for ruining such a beautiful face. A moment later, we watch a huge explosion, which was that very skill. And it is not simple at all because it is not a single skill, but a combined one. It looks terribly destructive. However, Sigma, who stood alone against all these monsters, did not care at all that such a powerful attack was coming at him. He continued to stand calmly AFK while the attack was rushing at him. This incredibly strong attack continued to be directed towards our main character, but he was completely calm because he understood that he could carry out the same attack as these two. A moment later, Chin Tian jumps back a little, taking a safe distance. He uses a technique called transformation into Bai Hu, four cardinal directions and the West subtype. We begin to watch how our main character concentrates in order to cast an incredibly powerful spell. A ball of blue energy forms in front of him and begins to grow. Not even a second passes before all these energy particles turn into ice swords that fly at the opponents of our main character. The technique that the guy used is called the Ice Heart Sword. The monsters who were unlucky enough to fall under this attack are in complete shock because in addition to the fact that their joint attack did not bear any fruit, this guy also possessed the same powerful technique. After our main character finishes using his destructive technique, we observe the huge mark she left. The monster that was in front of him lies unconscious. Approaching these poor monsters, we see how they simply suffered a crushing defeat. These two clearly have no chance to get up and continue giving some kind of fight. At this moment, our main character wonders if his only student misses him, because he has already left his mountain for several days. He has already obtained spirit and blood, so it's time for him to return. Further, our main character understands that he was very lucky, because if he had not missed with his powerful attack, there would have been nothing left of the monsters, and he would not have been able to collect any materials. The course of events is interrupted, and we return to the course of the narrative, when the scene of events is again the top of the hidden sword. At this moment in time, it is quite deep night outside. But suddenly something unexpected happens on this mountain, and the whole peace and tranquility that we just recently saw is completely destroyed due to a powerful explosion that spoils the whole vibe of calm in this place. Moving inside the building that we saw, we see a student of our main character who looks in surprise at the smoke from the explosion. She did not expect this at all in the middle of the night in such a calm place. Waifu with pink hair continues to look at the explosion in surprise. She understands that the explosion occurred in the pill melting room. Has his teacher returned after he left a few days ago? Moving to the site of the explosion, we observe real chaos with destruction happening there. There is more and more smoke around. Fire also appears. The situation is not very... A couple of moments after this, Chin Tian emerges from this very smoke who is quite dirty from such an amount of smoke. He tries to clear his throat while emerging from the cloud of smoke from the explosion. While our main character continues to try to clear his throat from this explosion and come to his senses, he hears the voice of his student behind him that he has just returned and immediately caused such a commotion. Next, we are shown a simply beautiful picture, a student of our main character and a top waifu in beautiful nightclothes. She asks her master if he just blew up the pill melting room. Despite all the circumstances that are happening around right now, the guy, as if nothing had happened seeing his only student, tells her in a joyful voice that she came here just in time. Next, our main character puts a pill in the hands of his student and shouts to her to eat it as soon as possible while it is still hot. He also adds that he specially refined it for her. After this pill is in the hands of this girl, a strong surprise appears on her face because right now in her hands is the Demon Emperor pill, which is a rarity. Looking even closer, the disciple of our protagonist realizes that right now in her hands there really is a Demon Emperor pill, which is at the highest rank heaven cultivation stage. Continuing to hold this incredibly rare pill, this girl continues to not believe what she sees, because it was difficult for her to find this pill even when she was an empress in her previous life. Looking at her teacher, this waifu understands that it was for this reason that her teacher was not at home for so long. She understands that he did all this just to get this pill for her. After a couple of moments, our main character finishes the procedure of preparing himself, removing the towel from his face and seeing that the pill is still not inside the girl. He asks her why she hasn't eaten it yet. The guy asks his student if the pill is bitter. The waifu answers his teacher that it's not a matter of taste at all. 
She asks him if he thinks that it will be convenient to take this pill here. But as soon as these two looked at the house in which they lived, it immediately, according to the law of meanness, was destroyed to smithereens due to an explosion that recently happened in the pill forging room. Looking at the destruction that our main character himself made, he says that most likely they really won't be as comfortable as they would like to take the pill that makes Sigma. It is for this reason that the course of events is interrupted, and we continue when the course of events is transferred to a more suitable place, to another temple of our main character. This place is probably much better than the destroyed house. After our protagonist student moves to more comfortable conditions, she takes out that very pill of the demon emperor in order to absorb it into herself. This whole process is observed by our main character, who at this moment is sitting next to his student. He supports her during this important process by placing his hand on her back. A couple of moments after this girl absorbs this pill, her body begins to burn because she receives a huge amount of chi energy, which was alien to her body. Our main character, standing behind his student, understood that he only needed to slowly send chi energy into the body of his student Miao Ling. The state of her body at this moment was normal. This time, the awakening should work. But Qin Tian doesn't have time to finish the sentence to himself about how awakening should happen. When his student suddenly grabs him by the shoulder, the guy is very surprised and doesn't understand what's going on. The guy continues to not understand what is happening because he is a Sigma, and contacting women is an unfamiliar feeling for him, and his student at this time begins to climb on him like a rock. Tears begin to flow in the eyes of this gorgeous waifu as she continues to travel around our main character. She is also very embarrassed and tries to say something to her teacher. But after our main character realizes that his student is really going to do something strange, his face says it. He asks Miao Ling if she is going to. A couple of moments after this, the waifu and student of our main character decides to give him a kiss. Our main character, being a Sigma, could not even think about such contact with a girl. While our main character is trying to understand what's going on, he reminds himself that he is Qin Tian, a time traveler who received the system, and now he has committed an encroachment on his Sigma status. Meanwhile, this girl continues to attack our main character. She tells her teacher that he will not be able to escape. The guy asks her to come to her senses because they can't do this. But the girl absolutely doesn't care what this eccentric says. She asks him to stop talking because she doesn't want to hear anything. All she wants is to get the sword in her sheath from her teacher. The girl continues to try with all her might to deprive our main character of his status as a Giga Chad. She even resorts to tasting this guy. He continues to resist. After a couple of moments, our main character notices from the aura around that the Emperor's pill has stopped working, and he needs to act so that the effect continues to work and she can awaken. Using Jojo's emotion, the guy understood that, first of all, he is a gentleman, so he must find the most ideal way out of this situation, and at the same time maintain his status as an incredible Giga Chad. The guy understood that all he could do in this situation was to awaken the pill in this girl's body. But suddenly something went wrong. We watched as a scream came from the temple. Returning back to our main character together with his student, we observed that the reason for such a loud scream was the playful prank of this waifu who decided to bite our main character in a fit of passion. Suddenly something unexpected happens. Moving back outside, we watch something amazing happen. A huge burst of blue energy comes out of the house into the sky. But our main character at this moment is absolutely calm. He understands that his efforts have borne fruit, and the pill that he himself made finally worked, and the girl was able to get a boost from this. A notification appeared in front of the guy that the master's disciple had awakened the ancient blood of the ice phoenix of the imperial stage. Moreover, it had broken through to the first level of the nirvana limit. As a reward, the skills would be increased to level seven. The guy understands, looking at the notification that this time the results were very great, and even he benefited from it. But besides this, our main character managed to maintain the most important thing, his status as an innocent Sigma. Looking at the lifeless-looking body of his student, our main character understands that most likely due to awakening, she probably lost consciousness for a while and passed out. Even her tongue left her mouth. Next, our main hero decided to wait for his student to wake up over a cup of tea, we continue the course of events when the guy finally realizes that his student has finally awakened from sleep. Waking up, the girl grabs her head and sits on the bed. She immediately asks our main character how she got into such a situation and what happened. The guy replies that he behaved decently. After a couple of moments, our main character tells his student to keep in mind the fact that, after all, a teacher and a student are always different. Having said this, he immediately ran away from the conversation. Meanwhile, a waifu with pink hair who recently woke up from sleep looked at her hands and wondered what she did that the guy said such a strange line. 
But after a couple of moments, this girl recalls cloudy episodes from her memory. Immediately after this, her pupils grow sharply, and she understands why this was said, and calling the teacher a goat, asks him to stop. But after this girl runs out of the temple in order to catch up with our main character, she discovers only the head of the sect along with her henchmen. She is clearly surprised to see them. Immediately after this girl sees the head of the sect and her followers, she abruptly stops. The head of the sect asks this girl if she really drank her blood, just recently awakened. The girl clearly didn't understand where these people came from out of nowhere, but she still decided to answer the question put to her by saying that her blood really seemed to have awakened to the next stage. Hearing this, the head of the sect tells her that this is simply magnificent. She wishes her to be saved by the Kunlun sky, because this road to the limit of holiness will come out of her Kunlun second with holiness. Active discussions immediately begin around the sect leader. Many decided that Miao Ling cannot remain at the top of the hidden sword. Many support this conclusion because this shameful mountain does not correspond to her level. Active discussions continue, many saying that this talented student should definitely change her teacher, because there must be a teacher who can be trusted and who can direct her talents in the right direction. In response to all this, the girl answers the crowd in front of her that she could only awaken thanks to the help of her teacher. And they ask him again, so she asks them all to leave the top of the hidden sword, and they are not welcome here. After this crowd and the sect leader herself hears this statement, they are very surprised by the fact that she is protecting our protagonist. They wonder what happened to her and whether she really liked Qin Tian. But their conversation ends abruptly after we watch a servant appear behind the crowd who shouts to the head of the sect that they are in trouble. One of the crowd asks the servant to mind his manners. The servant, continuing to run to the crowd, asks for forgiveness for his harsh address. He continues to say that the trouble is that the evil spirits that have appeared have attacked the entire Kunlun, and there is chaos everywhere. After the servant reports this news, he immediately faints. The head of the sect tells the disciple of our protagonist to hide with Qin Tian, and the guy in blue cannot believe that there are evil spirits here. Meanwhile, the crowd that came along with the head of the sect immediately disappears. They conclude that the ghost of the Ice Phoenix was 100% the reason for attracting the attention of evil spirits to this place. Next, we watch as the course of events moves to some high gate, near which a large number of cultivators gather, who are going to meet the evil spirits face to face. After we move to that very crowd with a cultivator, we watch as they raise their heads and see huge dark clouds on which there is a huge amount of evil spirits rushing towards them. A couple of moments later, we see the same dragon with a pumped up body that our main character left alive. He tells his brothers that the ancient blood of the Ice Phoenix is definitely somewhere here. We continue to watch as a dragon with a pumped up body and his horde of evil spirits are approaching closer and closer to the gate. He orders his soldiers to immediately look like the blood of an ice phoenix. A couple of moments later, the cultivators who were about to meet the evil spirits face to face were hit by the most powerful attack in the form of a whirlwind that had amazing power that demolished everything around. The student of our main character also fell into the radius of this attack. She understood that this was the breath of the water dragon of the demon emperor but this breath was familiar to her. Something in her responded to it. After a couple of moments, the girl still understands what's going on because around the demon emperor's pill, there is the same breath of a water dragon and the pill contains dragon blood. And after it met her phoenix blood, she awakened feelings that were deeply seated in her, which suddenly surged over her, which is why she flew at our main character at the very moment when she was trying to get his sword. A couple of moments later, we watch as this girl, in an attempt to find an answer, knocks down the door to the room where her teacher should be. She asks him if he did all this on purpose. But after this girl knocks down the door and looks around, she realizes that there is no one around and the house she broke into, destroying the door, is completely empty and there is no one inside. After a couple of moments, we are transported to the scene of the battle. We watch as the head of the sect appearing near the demon asks an ordinary dragon who was going to kill everyone if he had become completely insolent. Next, the head of the sect pounces on this pumped up dragon with lightning speed. She immediately inflicts a powerful blow on him, but the dragon still blocks it, albeit with difficulty. She asks him if he really boasted about his power. After this girl retreats to a safe distance after the blow, she asks this pumped up Darkon if he really intended to destroy her native Kunlun, which she protects. A dragon with muscles feeling cool shouts that his strength, which he possesses, is really enough to raise these lands to the ground and destroy everything here, drowning in blood. He admits that, in truth, he cannot do it all alone, but together with him is the green pung and the macaque, that is, there are three of them emperors. He shouts that the three of them will be able to do everything in 5k minutes. 
The head of the sect is harsh at this moment and is very surprised by the fact that there are other demon emperors. Moreover, they are already participating in this battle, so this changes a lot, including the course of the battle. Meanwhile, we move to those same two of the demon emperor. The macaque screams that it is his fault that they were late, because he was busy being treated, and the girl screams that she thought that she would also be in time. Suddenly, the course of events shifts to our main character, who at that moment is flying on a damn upside-down frying pan. He asks participant number 78 in the form of a paper airplane to catch up with these two. After a couple of moments, we watch as the paper planes sent by our main character actually catch up with these two demons who are flying on an evil cloud. They turn back in surprise. Next, Maka asks the girl, what kind of paper plane is constantly flying after them? He asks the girl what it is. Is it possible that it is her pet? The girl screams that it cannot be. After the macaque decides to turn around to look at the paper plane once, he realizes that something is wrong here because one of the planes begins to suddenly light up which clearly does not mean anything good. Literally a moment after this paper airplane catches fire a little, it suddenly explodes just like a nuclear bomb. The explosion of this airplane is truly impressive in its size. After this explosion occurs, the macaque asks the demon girl if she is okay. Being in the background of the explosion, the demoness replies that she is okay, but she doesn't understand what it is. But after a couple of moments, these two demon emperors decide to look up, and this is their main mistake because when they raise their heads up, they see our main character riding on a great frying pan with eyes. And riding this magnificent transport is our main character. He tells these two that they won't get through here, so he will have to go back to where they came from because they can't get further. After these two see our main character, they get very angry. They shout to our main character that he is the same bastard who just recently injured them, and very seriously. After a couple of moments continuing to look at our main, these two realize that in front of them right now is a member of the Kunlun Sword School, in response to this, Chin Tian congratulates them and prepares to give them a reward. Immediately after they hear that our main character is going to give them a gift, they immediately turn around and try to get out of here as quickly as possible. He asks them why they run away so quickly without receiving a reward. Next, our main character uses the technique of turning to the doubt-free Mahayana of turning into a dragon, which is why a huge dragon's golden hand flies at these two, which strikes terror into their hearts. After the attack of our main character, which we have not yet seen, reaches these two losers, they, like their dark cloud, disappear from sight because this golden hand slams them into the ground. A moment later, we observe what remains of these two losers. We look at a large dent in the ground in which there remain two silhouettes of the very two demon emperors who could not reach. Our main character, looking at these pathetic losers, is clearly dissatisfied with the fact that they lost so quickly because they died from just one blow our main character was clearly hoping for a fight. A couple of moments later, we return to the battlefield between the head of the sect and the demon emperors, pumped up dragons who stand silently and look at each other because the dragon promised that two more emperors would come soon. The head of the sect, who also feels awkward, asks this demon emperor where his friends and allies are because a whole hour has already passed. Most likely his allies cannot be relied on. After the pumped up dragon realizes that this sect leader is completely right, he screams that he and his servants are leaving. He is very angry at the fact that he was let down. He tries to restrain his emotions so as not to lose his face. A couple of moments after this, we watch as this dragon flies away on its dark cloud. He shouts that these two left in order not to disgrace, while the cultivators below wonder if they are saved. For some reason, everyone around decides that all this is the merit of only the head of the sect, while the head herself thinks that the demons of the desert mountains, for some reason unknown to her, are watching Miao Ling. After a couple of moments, we return to that same dragon who, together with the other two demon emperors, was going to destroy everything here. Because he was simply dynamized, the frog asks his master to calm down and drink tea. But in response to this, the dragon grabs the frog by the cheek and tells him to get out of here. Because if he had tied that rubbish tighter, they would not have been so humiliated. The dragon was clearly beside himself with anger. Meanwhile, our main character, the giant child, continued to fly in his miracle frying pan with eyes. At this moment, with Saitama's face, he only thought that he really hadn't eaten beef for a long time, and this needed to be fixed. The guy clearly stands behind his words, because a couple of moments after this we watch as he has already tied a cow to his miracle transport, which will soon become a future stew for our main character. At this point, the course of events is abruptly interrupted, and we continue at that moment when the next day comes. We see Chin Tian for the first time with his hair down. He is sleeping very soundly in the arms of his pillow. 
But because of the sunlight that enters his room, he suddenly gets up from his bed and looking out the window, realizes that in his room you can only see the sunset, which means something is clearly wrong here. Next, our main character, with the help of his critical thinking, understands that he slept the whole day. She immediately imagines how his only student tried to wake him up, but it was unsuccessful. Another moment passes and tears of joy appear in our main character's eyes because he understands that his student did not try to wake him up. Finally, a whole month has passed and she has stopped bothering him. That is why our main character decided that he urgently needed to celebrate this, which is why, taking the cleaver in his hands, he ran after the bull that he brought home last night. He tried to run away from him and save his life. After a couple of moments, our main character is transported with us to his student, who at this moment is once again engaged in raising her level in the most effective ways. But our main character is not at all interested in this. He sharply pulls on the strings that are around his student and informs them that the food is already ready and they are feasting today. The girl, as always, answers the guy that she does not need food. Our main character notices that before she was not such an ice queen, he asked her what she was doing. The girl told the guy not to touch him because he was just training the vice of notes on the impassivity of the highest. After Chin Tian hears the answer to the question of what she does, he understands that he has already heard somewhere something about the recordings of the dispassionate superiors. So the guy thinks, after a couple of moments, thanks to a memory of a million terabytes, our main character still manages to remember what it is, notes from the dispassionateness of the higher ones. This is one of the great paths to the imperial skill of bitterness. After the guy understands this, he approaches his student and hits her on the head with his hand. Despite the amazing knowledge of our main character, the girl tells him that this is not so and he misunderstood everything. Having become a monk for one second, our main character again says that the dispassion of the highest is not bitterness. These are feelings but without shackles and without torment, and with the help of feelings you become freer, the girl is surprised that she was wrong. The guy continues by saying that in fact it doesn't matter the bitterness or feelings, they still have a bad horoscope match with her. For training with a sword, it's most convenient to do what she wants. So the secret of the sword of the heart is more suitable for her. Next, our main character holds out his notes, which contain the information about which he just said. The girl asks Chin Tian whether the August level is higher than the Imperial level. She is told that this is so. This girl immediately snatches the notes of our protagonist into her hands because they contain the most secret and other information. She immediately gives him the money, saying that she takes it without hesitation. Holding this book in her hands, this girl understands that even with her experience of a thousand blades, she still could not find such a thing. But now it so easily fell into her hands, like a real fateful meeting. A couple of moments after this girl once again received an incredibly valuable gift from our main character, she turned to him and called him a teacher. Called him, the guy puzzledly asked what he wanted. A couple of moments after the guy looked at his student, for the first time she made the most kawaii face and, holding the book closer to her, thanked him for such a generous gift from him. We were not the only ones who were shocked by this turn of events. After our main character saw such an unusual expression on his student's face, he also laughed a lot and said that he was not worth thanks. Next, our main character called his only student to go train because he wanted to see what she managed to learn there from the notes of the dispassionate superiors that she so enthusiastically studied. While our main character goes with his student to a place where she can show him what she can do, we watch some girl with black hair who can fly on a sword. After this cute girl reaches Sigma, she immediately jumps from her sword and calls the guy Uncle Mentor. But the guy tells the girl that he is now doing mewing and she should be quieter. Right now in front of us is Yan Ching Si, who is a student of Mo Tian Wen. She asks the mentor what they are doing here together with this waifu with pink hair. While Miao Lin, sitting on a stump, continues her attempts to use the skills that she recently learned, our main character informs the recently arrived girl that Miao Lin made a mistake with the skill. The girl asks if everything is okay with her. Our main character replies that everything is fine with her, because with the help of the Sigma teacher, she is training a new skill that is much cooler than the previous one, and this will continue. The girl says that this is worthy of an uncle mentor. Meanwhile, this waifu is in a state of maximum concentration. She is about to make another level increase by learning another cool skill, but her concentration is disturbed by the conversations of these two about food. The conversations about KFS wings and fries are getting louder and louder, and as she continues to train, it becomes more and more difficult. Her thoughts quickly begin to get confused, and the learning process becomes impossible. After a couple of moments, this girl's patience runs out and she screams at these two to stop immediately. She asks them if they can't go to another place because she's training here. These two have eaten and are sleeping. 
The guy replies that he knows that they are disturbing her, because this means calmness unshakable by external action, emptiness unshakable by external matter. No matter how dangerous your task is, she must remain calm like any sigma. Our main character continues his lecture by saying that it was for this reason that he deliberately interfered with her. All this in order to train her mood and control over emotions, the girl next to him notices how aptly everything was said. While finishing his cola, the guy says that if she leaves it for a long time, then the cola will be left completely without gas, and the potatoes will get soggy, and the burger will spoil in a couple of months, which is why she should connect and eat everything faster. But in response to this, the student of our main character began to slowly pull out her sword from its sheath. The guy asked her why she was pulling out her sword. She replied that today she would insult her elders. Taking out her sword, she begins to swing to strike the guy. She screams that she will kill the teacher today, our main character, along with the girl who came with him, begin to run away. The course of events is abruptly interrupted, and we continue when we see that our main character, for some strange reason, has made an appointment with a monkey who was one of the demon emperors. He is a little surprised that the monkey has come. Our main character, while drinking water, tells his interlocutor that he should not have come, to which he receives an answer about the macaque that he should have done it. Chin Tian tells him that he has not changed at all. A couple of moments later, this macaque sharply attacks our main character, but Chin Tian easily dodges every blow that tries to overtake him. All this happens in the air, which complicates everything. These two do not have time to land when the outcome of the battle becomes clear again, because our main character was easily able to do this macaque while right in the air, which is why he lands on his feet and the macaque on his head. A couple of moments after our main character successfully lands, he takes a barrel of wine from the cold water that was very nearby. His motives are still completely unclear. Then everything becomes a little clearer. The macaque, which lies on the ground after getting hit in the ass, extends its hand and begs our main character to throw his wine and leave him alone without any tricks. But in response to this, our main character makes a brilliant move. He puts a sticker on a barrel of wine with his name. He tells the monkey that his name is on this barrel, so it is his wine. The macaque, who is also the demon emperor, is simply shocked by this turn of events. He spits out all the water that he swallowed after his fall from such an impudent act performed by Chin Tian. Meanwhile, our main character continues to take as many barrels of wine as possible in order to make it even easier to carry them. He takes them all into a large net. He and Miao Lin are going to try wine. Immediately after he puts all the barrels in the net, he flies away in his magnificent frying pan, and he is going to sign on the way. For a very long time signing the results. But for signing the results, a reward is given. The course of events is interrupted, and we continue. When the course of events moves to the top of the hidden sword, or more precisely to the bamboo grove, judging by the sounds nearby, someone was training hard at that moment. Next, we watch as that same girl with black hair rushes into the arms of our main character student because she finally managed to comprehend the subtle nuances and essence of the sword thanks to the help of Miao Ling and her incredible talent. This girl continues to hug her savior, telling her that after training with her, she finally made significant progress in her sword skills. She also apologized for the fact that she had slandered her before, and it was all because of the fool Chin. After this girl fully thanked her savior, she began to leave and said goodbye to her new friend. She also told her that she would go and tell the teacher the good news that she had reached new heights in sword handling. After our main character student finished her hard training, she began to stretch her muscles. She also decided to immediately go home after training to take a shower because it is useful for muscle recovery. Plus, she is covered in dust. But after a couple of moments, we understand that a shower, in the understanding of ancient people, is either rain or a hot spring. It was towards the second option that the student of our protagonist headed, the course of events also transfers to the hot springs where the waifu will take water procedures. Foot fetishists can rejoice because they took care of you. Putting her tender feet in the hot springs, this girl simply could not contain her emotions because at that moment she was experiencing the most positive range of various emotions. A couple of moments later, we watched a lonely girl who was taking water treatments to restore muscles and relax in a hot spring all alone. To complete the picture, there was not enough of some gigachad with a muscular body. After a couple of moments, we are shown this waifu, and the towel on her body is our main enemy in this manhua. Even she understands that from minute to minute, someone should appear here at the hot spring to brighten up her company, even though she is quite, I like being here alone. This girl's guesses turn out to be 100% correct, because a moment later, our main character appears from the bushes and tells Miao Lin that he has prepared nightly treats for her, so he calls her to eat. The girl is not surprised by the fact that he is on time, as always. 
Further, in order to reinforce the words of this girl, we are shown everyday, everyday events in the life of this girl, during which our main character, just like now, appeared at the most inopportune moment. The girl asked the teacher whether he was doing all this on purpose or something else. Our main character at that moment, looking at his student from under a thin bamboo, was very surprised at this kind of accusation. He said that this was certainly not so. He asked her if she really could think that he was doing such antics seriously. Next, our main character tells his student that today, he managed to get monkey wine, which had been fermenting for eight whole years, which is why he told his student to get dressed as quickly as possible and leave the hot springs in order to drink together. He also warned that he will watch. But everything would be too great if this girl took our main character at his word, because immediately after he said this, he received a fairly clear refusal in the form of a blow to the face. Our main character's student told him to get out of here as quickly as possible so that she I was able to get dressed again. We continue when our main character returns back to his house. He mysteriously looks at the moon and repeats a quote from a song about endless melancholy. The girl lived in our house only just became an adult. But after a couple of moments, our main character was interrupted from his life's thoughts by his beloved student who had already finished changing clothes. She asked her teacher what her mentor was thinking about again. This girl also couldn't help but notice the fact that our main character was smiling incredibly strongly and lecherously at that moment. And even with all the desire, it was impossible not to pay attention to it. Despite the fact that our main character's nose was once again bleeding, he tried to put on a serious face and told his student that he had definitely not thought about anything like that. So it seemed to her, at this moment our main character had already prepared the wine that he stole. He told his student that she dressed very beautifully so that he could not take his eyes off. The girl could not but agree. But there was one nuance. Looking at her big eyes, the girl told her teacher that the only nuance was that the glasses he bought for her eyes were too tight, which looked very strange. As soon as Miao Ling said that she literally did not have enough air in this place, this place immediately burst and the button that was holding back this chaos suddenly jumped out and flew somewhere into the distance. A couple of moments after this button flew off and hit our main character straight on the forehead, he didn't care, because in return he was given a simply stunning view of the beautiful eyes of his student. Immediately after the student of our main character realized what was happening, she began to scream so loudly that the whole district heard about it. The guy immediately realized what awaited him, which is why he asked her to discuss it. At this awkward moment, the course of events breaks off and we continue when we move to the next day. We watch as these two sit near the boiler. The girl notices that her teacher's cooking is getting better and better. But suddenly Chin Tian is very embarrassed by something and he turns back sharply. The girl asks the teacher what happened. The guy replies that the saints brought people to Kunlun. Maybe they want to make a fuss. A couple of moments later, our main character calls his student to go to the main peak in order to see what kind of fuss those who came want to make. The student immediately agreed to go with her teacher. From this point on, the course of events ends abruptly and we continue when we move to the main peak of Kunlun, or more precisely to the training ground, this is where the fuss is planned. Moving a little lower, we watch the head of the sect communicate with some sage. She tells him that, according to rumors, Elder Lang is bringing the first students from his sect to fight with the young adapters. At the moment in front of us is Leng Ya, who is the elder of the Penglai sect. He replies that young talents are at a dead end, and therefore he wants the students of all sects to exchange experiences and find their turning point. But the elder continues to say that in fact they came because they also wanted to meet the legendary ancient blood. The head of the sect immediately realized that the old fox had bad intentions. He probably had other goals. A couple of moments after this, we are shown a man with a mark on his forehead and long white hair. He yawns because he is completely bored here, and the secret of summoning lightning didn't even work out. Immediately after this, we are shown an incredibly muscular cultivator on steroids. His name is Xuan Lei, and he is a disciple of the pinnacle of Imperial Thunder. He tells his opponent that he will regret that he got the technique. Despite the mockery of the enemy with long white hair, this guy began to be enveloped in lightning, and began to prepare to make a lightning dash for a surprise attack. Not even a moment passes before this pumped up man at incredible speed closes the distance to his opponent, preparing to deliver a crushing blow, but his opponent continues to stand as if nothing had happened. After a couple of moments, this man replied to his opponent's threats that he did not think that defeat awaited him. Then this guy began to create his technique called the military skill of the heavenly stage, a sword strike calming mountains and rivers. Immediately after this guy directed his spell at his opponent, he in turn instantly exploded, it happened so quickly that we didn't even see the magic projectile. After waiting a little, we saw that the smoke from this explosion had cleared, 
After this happened, we saw the same steroid bodybuilder who was slammed into the walls of the arena. He clearly felt this attack. The crowd, seeing such a sharp outcome of the battle, was simply beside themselves with surprise. They could not believe that Sanyushka flew away so quickly. Some did not even understand what happened, because the attack happened too quickly. Despite the indignation of the crowd of losers, this guy with long white hair received only positive emotions. Moreover, he called his opponent's attempt to fight a complete failure, thereby angering everyone even more. Next, this man with white hair apologized to those who were so impressed. After he did it sarcastically, he turned around like an anime psycho and asked the crowd of cultivators who would be next. After this man, who has simply incredible strength, heard literally nothing in response, he approached the stands to personally begin to look out for his next opponent. But after this guy took a closer look at the crowd of cultivators, he realized that none of these cowards would ever want to go into the arena with him in order to lose as quickly as a loser. But something unexpected happens. The same girl already familiar to us asks her teacher to allow her to enter the arena because if this continues, the faith of the students will be destroyed. She receives permission. Having received permission, this girl continued by saying that it would be safer if she called Sister Anne. The head of the sect asked whether it would be useful to call her because now she is almost in the fire period. The girl explained to her teacher that she didn't know anything. She also remembered that our main character informed the two of them that his student had already learned the essence of the sword from his instructions. Having heard this whole story about how our main character teaches his student such a subtle art, she was surprised and asked if he could really do it so that his student could learn it. But after the head of the sect asked her student if all this was really true, she, without doubting the answer for a second, answered the head of the sect that it was 100% true. Immediately after this, the head of the sect again plunged into her thoughts, and we returned to the moment when she was standing near the elder. She was thinking that it seemed to her that our strange protagonist was hiding something. Then we are transferred to the arena. We watch as the Empress's student coming out there tells this self-confident man that she will be his next opponent. Upon hearing this, he smiles. Then this Geralt from Rivia, a cut-down version, says that since the great mentor of Kunlun entered the square, everyone around can start placing bets, because the bet is a place in the limitless secret limit. Feeling like the main character, this guy continued saying the terms of the bet. If they defeat him, he will give his place to them. And if, on the contrary, their place becomes his, the head of the sect realized that these eccentrics came with a secret intention. The student of the sect leader immediately realized that something was wrong here, which is why she began to rotate her head in search of the sect leader. Having received a nod from her teacher, she agreed to the conditions. After this, Geralt from Rivia received a positive response to the fight. He took his sword out of space and pointed it at his opponent and said that they could start the fight. Immediately after this, the fight began incredibly quickly. The waifu began to close the distance with this guy as quickly as possible, while he was preparing some kind of powerful attack with his unusual sword. A moment later, this guy used the hurricane sword essence skill. This skill allowed him to use the sword as a ranged weapon, which is why the opponent was forced to move away and respond with an attack. Her rival was very surprised after he found out that his rival also still knows the essence of the sword. It seems that she is worthy for him to show her his true strength. The girl considered all this to be empty words. Meanwhile, the fierce battle between these two people who understood the essence of the sword continued. There were various attacks everywhere, and the guy with long white hair was about to turn on the Sigma mode. A moment later, this guy moves away to a safe distance as quickly as possible in order to use the limit that is one step ahead of the essence of the sword. It is called the fusion of essence and sword skill. Immediately after this guy manages to prepare a skill, he uses a powerful skill that no one has used in this arena before. He releases a huge beam that causes huge damage. Judging by the face of her rival, she clearly did not expect such a strong response to her sword essence. She understood that everything had not gone according to plan, and she urgently needed to do something to get out of this situation. But apparently it was already too late, because after a couple of moments we see the damage that was caused by this powerful attack that Geralt from Rivia used. It literally destroyed part of the arena. A couple of moments later, returning to the arena, we watch as this scoundrel fully hits his opponent, causing her incredible damage from which she is forced to fly up several tens of meters. After this girl continues to rapidly gain altitude, after a couple of moments she finally stops and begins to slowly slow down, and then goes into free fall like a sack of potatoes. The sect leader and this girl's teacher are simply shocked by what she just saw, while her rival and this guy's elder are completely satisfied and surprised by the height of his blow. After a couple of moments the frame moves to the ground, and we watch as the sword that the girl had with her lands on the ground much faster than herself. The guy who is standing directly opposite this immediately notices this. 
After the smoke clears after this girl was supposed to land, we see how someone unexpectedly intervenes in this fight. We see the already familiar Nike sneakers. A moment after the smoke finally clears, we see our main character and his student. The guy managed to appear at the most opportune moment to easily catch this girl. This guy immediately hears how an enthusiastic crowd calls our main character a real handsome man. Many envy sister Jan, because they too would really like to be hugged by such a giga chad. This guy with white hair immediately understands that he is now a minor character against the background of this Sigma, and they don't pay attention to him at all, because everyone is busy with this couple who interfered. But after a couple of moments, our main character's student, who has simply incredible beauty, catches the eye of this guy. He immediately understands that his route has been rearranged, and he must run to her. A couple of moments later, we watch as this guy with long white hair immediately sits down on one knee in front of the waifu, and tells her that he is the very first disciple of the Penglai sect and his name. Thus, this guy is trying to invite this waifu to get acquainted. All this is connected with the fact that this guy saw in this waifu the incredible beauty that she is. He could not miss such unearthly beauty. The elder who had been watching all this time from the stands understood that finally the purpose for which they had come had manifested itself. He was going to look at other abilities besides the ancient blood that this girl possesses. Our main character immediately saved the situation. After he hit the hand of this worm, he told him to take his dirty hands away from his student. The white-haired one asked Chen in surprise who he dared to call a worm. Next, the guy made a fatal mistake by calling our main character a dirty donkey. It was with this that he caused two waifus to attack him directly. They asked him how he dared to call their teacher a dirty donkey. The guy was completely shocked after he heard that this guy was really a mentor and teacher for these two waifus. He immediately remembered the rumors that there was one worthless but handsome mentor in Kunlun. Immediately after this, this guy came up to our main character as close as possible, thereby scaring one of the waifus. He understood that right now in front of him was that very beautiful but useless mentor. But our main character was not a loser, which is why he was not afraid of this idiot. Immediately after that, they made a battle of glances just like in UFC. The white-haired guy told the guy that these two waifus were clearly blinded by his beauty, but he would save them by showing his strength. This madman grabbed his head with both hands and continued to tell our protagonist that he intends to save these girls from being blinded by Jin's beauty with his incredible strength. After this strange madman realized that after he could conquer this magnificent waifu with his power, he literally turned into an inflatable advertisement near car washes with happiness. Meanwhile, Miaoling immediately understood from this guy's disgusting smile that he was 100% thinking about the bad. She also added that he needed to be taught a lesson, but they needed to wait until he showed three techniques. Then we watched as our main character's student actually went out onto the battlefield with this guy in order to finish him off. Many doubted that Sister Anne could win because she had been rocking for only nine years. However, another girl from the crowd added that there is one nuance. It is that ancient blood flows in Sister Anne. No one knows what it can do. It is pumped several times faster than ordinary people. Returning to the crowd, we watch as the head of the sect asked our protagonist how long he was going to hug her disciple. But he replied that Ching Si was injured, and he was only happy to help without letting her wound worsen. Meanwhile, we return back to the battlefield. This self-confident guy is absolutely sure that the level of his new rival should not be higher than that of Yan Ching Si, whom he easily defeated with one blow. This madman continues to eagerly look at the student of our protagonist. He has no doubt that with his powers, he will be able to control the course of the battle and show his strength and wonderful manners of an elegant sigma. Next, this white-haired guy with a low intelligence level of 54 IQ decides to first show his manners to his incredible strength, which is why he extends his hand to the waifu for some reason. But after this guy doesn't have time to finish, he hears some incomprehensible sound. After which he opens his eyes, he sees an incredibly fast attack with a sword that is definitely moving straight at him. A moment later, we watch as our protagonist's student with her SS rank sword easily delivers an incredibly strong first blow. She tells the guy that this is only the first blow, and if it weren't for the requests, he would have already died. In response to this blow, this guy, again feeling like the main character, smiled madly and called this waifu rubbish. He added that he deliberately gave in to her, because she cannot hurt him on her own. Immediately after this, this white-haired man took his sword out of his sheath in order to once again use the essence of the sword in order to show his rival who the daddy is in this arena. He again decided to use a skill from the last battle called a hurricane sword that calms mountains and rivers, but this time something clearly went wrong because in the next moment his sword broke like a cracker. 
After the next moment this guy realized what had just happened, he could not believe his eyes, with the help of which he saw flying fragments of his sword in front of him, which was broken. But despite the emotional shock of this guy, Miao Ling was completely calm. She told her opponent that he was fighting too weakly. His hurricane sword was just appearing on the surface. Immediately after this, this waifu decided to show this loser what a real sword essence skill is, performed by Sigma Mami. Then the guy saw a huge surge of pink energy in front of him. After this waifu released her energy outward, she stood in a beautiful pose and told him that the real skill of the essence of the sword should be like this. The essence of the sword is like bones, and the martial skill is like skin. At this moment, the rival student of our main character was completely in a drawn state, because at that moment he realized that he was still very far from the level of perfection that his rival possesses. However, it was already too late because an incredibly strong skill of the true essence of a pink sword was being directed at this guy right now. This guy clearly shouldn't have learned sword skills from YouTube. Immediately after this skill easily reached the opponent, he did not have a single chance to escape from the blow. He began to receive numerous injuries that did not end. But it didn't end there. This pink tornado that brought only death with it continued to get bigger and bigger until the audience couldn't see what was happening in the arena. Everyone was shocked after they saw this girl's incredible talent in action. This Bai Xiaohua was not her rival at all. Meanwhile, that same Bai Xiao fell to his knees after receiving a crushing defeat. Moving towards him, we observed the terrible state he was in after he experienced the true essence of the sword on his body. He was covered in cuts and wounds. He realized that this was the completed essence of the sword. On the guy's face, there was a face completely devoid of emotion. It was even impossible to see the pupils in his eyes. There was only one question in his head. How the hell does it seem possible to achieve such mastery? In response to this albeit stupid question, the student of our main character still decided to answer this loser by saying that nothing is impossible. In the meantime, she was going to perform the last move. And this was not a prank or some kind of joke at all. After her opponent fell to his knees, she extended her palm towards her opponent and began to concentrate energy in it to perform the last technique. This white-haired man, who just a few minutes ago considered himself the main character, was in complete shock that they were really going to finish him off. The girl who had already called upon her skill asked the guy to think about his mother. Immediately after Miao Ling said this, a moment later she activated her incredible skill, thereby causing him simply colossal damage with a huge ice element. The head of the sect, who had been watching the progress of this battle all this time while in the stands, was in shock after she saw Miao Ling's last skill. It was even difficult for her to believe that this was really a victory. A couple of moments later, we see this guy who recently was still a completely ordinary person. Now all that remains of him is an ice shell after the skill of the student of our main character. Next, we are redirected to the crowd who cannot restrain their emotions from victory. They rejoice in the fact that apparently among the younger generation, Sister Qian from their sect is the most outstanding. Meanwhile, returning to the elder and the head of the sect, we watch as the old man keeps his words and gives the possessions to the lady, telling her to take the tablet of the limitless secret limit as they agreed. A couple of moments after this old grandfather's student receives a crushing defeat, he jumps from the balcony and then again makes a powerful jump, thereby leaving this territory. But after another second, we look at each other even closer to the face of this old man, and we notice that there is a strained smile on his face. Despite the defeat that he received, he is pleased, because he found and saw exactly what he was looking for. Then the course of events stops and we continue on as we watch how the disciple of the sect leader and our main character support and praise Miao Ling for winning such a beautiful and stunning victory. Despite the fact that this girl really won a simply magnificent victory without a single mistake during the battle, she is still very embarrassed and asks her friends to stop embarrassing her so much. After a couple of moments, the course of events is once again interrupted, and we are transported to the place where that same elder galloped. He informs his majesty that he has found a suitable container in which the ancient blood of the ice phoenix flows. The old man continues saying that the container has also mastered the essence of the sword. A strange creature named Mu and Shui, who is the empress of the heavenly demons, praises the servant for his work, because she was going to get this body. After this creature intends to get a body, she also intends to restore and unite the eastern continent. She tells her grandfather that when the time comes, she will call him because he will be needed. Starkey, hearing all this, is happy because this is all he needs, plus he is praised. For all this, he bows his head down in front of Her Majesty and thanks her for everything that she said and did to him. But after a couple of moments, this strange monster woman begins to get very angry with the cruel empress who greatly humiliated her. After she leaves here, she is going to repay her in full. 
At this point, the course of events ends abruptly, and it continues when we are transported to a very beautiful location, which is called the Limitless Secret Limit. Judging by the appearance, it is located on a high elevation. Next, we are told that the Kunlun in which everything happens, Penglai and Taibai are three sects that spent a lot of effort to open the limitless secrets of the limit. This is really impressive. Moreover, this limit tends to open once every 20 years, and inside it you can find many opportunities, for example, a miracle cure or some kind of SS rank treasure. From the very beginning of the video, the woman continues her explanation by saying that there are two restrictions in the limit. Firstly, only those with the limit of Nirvana and below can get into it. Everyone who is higher will be thrown out of the limit. And secondly, a maximum of nine people. Next, the attention in the frame is focused on the very key tablet that the head of the sect recently received. This is the key to enter this very limit. This is how this scheme is arranged. Before starting the login procedure, this woman asks everyone nearby to remember that after someone sings to the limit, they will only have one week of time to search for any useful loot. This is why this girl strongly recommends making good use of the time, and if there are no questions they can leave, this is exactly what this group of cultivators are doing. They are jumping straight into the limit. A couple of moments after this group of cultivators entered this limit, including our protagonist's disciple, the eerie creature we recently saw immediately senses her presence here. Immediately after this being who is the empress of the heavenly demons realizes that she has a chance to obtain a container, she immediately orders her servant to bring her to her as quickly as possible. After we watch the servant take an order from his mistress, the course of events is interrupted and we are brought back to Miao Ling, who at that moment eats the apple of this world and walks completely alone on the limit. However, this apple turns out to be completely difficult because it has eyes and a mouth and perhaps even a soul, which is why it begins to scream in pain after they start eating it. The girl at this moment is thinking about what to do. Miao Lin understands that the head of the peak, or our main character, did not tell her what to do in such a situation. But suddenly this girl, thanks to her incredible vision, notices something strange in the bushes. Someone is watching her. After a couple of moments, this waifu decides to approach this cabbage as quickly as possible. After she discovers a crow watching there, she immediately kindly separates its head from the body while continuing to eat. The girl understands that there was only a crow in the bushes. She feels relief because she was already scared to death, even if you couldn't tell it from her. Meanwhile, some strange scroll falls not far from her. Thanks to her amazing hearing, this girl easily hears where this sound comes from and, approaching the source, she sees the same scroll that appeared here literally from the air. She looks at it in puzzlement. Miao Lin immediately decides to take it in her hands and open the scroll in order to understand what is inside. She wonders whether these possibilities were recently told to everyone by the head of Su Peak who was talking about this place. After this girl decides to look at the scroll that she picks up, she realizes that in her hands she has a map with which she can find the sacred fruit of the heavenly phoenix. The map is quite detailed. Looking at this, Miao Lin immediately remembers that after biting into this fruit, you can break through the limit of Nirvana, just a short distance to the limit of creation. This is a very tempting thing. That is why the girl decides to go in search of the sacred fruit of the heavenly phoenix following the found map. All this time, this girl is being watched by another raven, who was clearly summoned by someone. Further, the course of events will speed up a little because no one will be interested in watching this girl simply walk according to the map. We continue at the moment when Miao Lin finally reaches the right place. The map was indeed reliable, because immediately after she reaches the marked area, she sees several sacred fruits above her. She understands that she can quickly break through to the limit of creation. But as soon as our protagonist student takes a step in the direction of these fruits, a strange magical seal is triggered under her foot, which immediately envelops her entire body in the dark shackles of darkness. However, thanks to her vast experience, Miao Ling is not at all worried about this because she understands that this is just a blocking seal. Suddenly, she begins to hear someone's sinister laughter around her. A moment later, behind this girl with pink hair, that same monster, the Empress of Heavenly Demons, appears and declares to Miao Ling that her body now completely belongs to this monster. While Miao Ling is taken by surprise, she calmly understands that it was all a conspiracy, and the instigator is the Holy Spirit from the extreme of holiness, and the goal is to be reborn in her body, the monster is shocked by such conclusions. After a couple of moments, this monster, which is about to be reborn in a new body, is completely defeated because what it attacked is actually just a clone that was created with the help of ice. Immediately after the monster realizes that he has been fooled like a baby, he breaks the statue of ice and realizes that her plan has completely failed because her goal has completely defeated her. 
However, the Empress of the Heavenly Demons is not going to give up. She charges a fiery attack somewhere to the side in the hope of hitting her target, but everything is unsuccessful. She orders the girl to come out of hiding now. Miaolin is clearly not like everyone else because immediately after she hears a request from her opponent to come out of hiding, she actually comes out, showing herself to her enemy without any sense of fear. After this monster in a mask sees the face of our main character's student, he experiences complete shock. Apparently, this strange creature recognizes the face that he sees in front of him right now. While Myolin continues as if nothing had happened to go to the one who tried to take her body, she is called the same cruel empress who wreaked havoc everywhere. Miaolin does not deny and asks who she is. The monster, realizing that in front of him is the one with whom he needs to pay off, shouts that because of her, people destroyed her sect of heavenly demons and destroyed her body. But she doesn't even remember all this. After Miao Lin hears all these accusations, she once again bites off that same apple with emotions and, after thinking a little, replies that she really doesn't remember anything like that. This reaction infuriates this girl even more, who lost her sect and her body because of the cruel empress, which is why she is trying with all her might to attack the one who destroyed her life. Before she starts attacking, this girl stops because she remembers that there are rumors that the empress has died, but despite the rumors she is standing here right now in front of her. That is why this monster concludes that the Empress was able to be reborn, making a slightly crazy face. Miao Ling replies that no one knows this, which is why she invites her rival to check it herself. In response to this monster, who is ready to tear this girl to pieces right now, she replies that she is still more inclined to believe in the veracity of the rumors that she has heard over these many years. A couple of moments after this, tales appear from the back of this stone woman with a destroyed body, just like Kaneki Ken from Tokyo Ghoul, she shouts to the Empress that she has lost all her powers as the Emperor of the Go Limit. Then this girl once again makes a dash towards Miao Ling in order to tear her to pieces, because right now she is just a weakling who is in the limit of Nirvana, so she asks her to be a good girl by giving her her flesh. Even though this girl does have a weaker body than before, she can still easily dodge powerful attacks with those huge and scary tails, and judging by her, it's not that difficult for her. Immediately after this girl successfully dodges the first attack, she prepares to carry out a counterattack, which is why, taking a safe distance, she summons an ice sword. But her rival is trying with all her might to take advantage of every moment to kill this empress, but despite this she can still dodge, and the ice sword is already appearing in her hands. But at this point the battle is not yet progressing so much in favor of Miao Lin, because after she was able to summon her sword, a flurry of small explosions that have amazing damage falls on her. Despite the amazing speed of attacks that are carried out on this waifu, she still easily dodges all attacks. She continues to look for the moment to carry out a successful retaliatory attack. But even though Miao Ling flies into the air, her opponent still continues to pursue her with her blows. In flight, she can no longer dodge, which is why she tries to parry the blows with her sword. However, despite the fact that Miao Ling still has not received any damage, this girl realizes that this girl owns an imperial sword with which she is still able to fend off all of her attacks. But even despite this fact, this monster girl believes that today is truly her lucky day. Not only will she be able to obtain excellent flesh full of talents, she will also receive a unique imperial weapon. After this monster understands that this victory will bring a lot of benefits, she continues the battle telling the Empress to stop resisting because it is useless. And besides, she is not eager to injure the body that she captures. After this moment, Miao Ling still begins to act, which is why we watch her hit the tail for the first time in the fight, she asks her opponent not to joke, because she is nothing more than a spirit in the extreme of holiness who has lost her flesh. Miao Lin continues saying that the rules of the secret limit limit the strength of everyone who came, which means this applies to her rival who is fighting hard with her right now. This played into her hands. Continuing to attack this monster with her magnificent weapon, Miao Ling continues to say that all the monks who passed the limit of Nirvana who wanted to enter were sealed by it, and she will definitely not be an exception. Despite the fact that the Empress of the Heavenly Demons at this moment receives blow after blow, she smiles and says that Miao Ling says everything is true, because it cannot be otherwise. However, there is one nuance. This distraught girl continues to tell the student of our main character that in any rule there is a loophole, and this limitless secret limit is definitely no exception. The stone on her face suddenly collapses. Immediately after this, the body of Miao Ling's rival is almost completely destroyed, and a huge creature that resembles a spider appears. All this is accompanied by a strong stream of wind emanating from it. Miao Lin at this moment is in complete horror, because everything he said was really a little wrong, and her rival LPR action found a loophole. 
and now right now she is standing against the half saint. As soon as Miao Ling looked at the strange creature that appeared in front of her for just a couple of seconds, it immediately disappeared because it moved to a new level of the limit and her reaction became too fast. Finding herself behind the student of our main character, this terrible monster told Miao Ling that she understood everything correctly and now she is half a saint and she will soon break through the limit of holiness. This terrible monster with a destroyed body continued to say that after once again being tested to a new limit, she will finally have a new body. Meanwhile, this spider grabbed Miao Ling from behind. At this moment, this waifu, who thought that they would fight on the same level, understood that her affairs were very bad, because in this situation she could not move at all. She had to decide how to get out. The face of this monster became worse and worse every second. Then she asked Miao Ling if she knew the strength that was needed to be in the secret limit, to break through the limit of Nirvana. Next, this monster whispered to the student of our protagonist that she would make her suffer to the fullest. Moreover, she intended to regain her soul. We go back in time to understand how she decided to body. In the past, this girl was mercilessly eaten by a huge spider. She understood that she could not lie here waiting for death. She still had killed enemies whom she simply had to take revenge on. Then we watched as this girl suddenly received a dose of determination and began to fight with this huge spider for life and death. She understood that she could not finish her job here. Meanwhile, this girl continued to fight with a huge spider. She convinced herself that it was just an animal in the limit of gender holiness. Although she made her way through the boundaries, she could still kill him. We gradually return to the present time, but now we understand why this girl so greedily wants to take revenge on this girl for the suffering that she received through her fault. He repeats to her that she will kill her. After this girl realizes that she is in a mortal situation and she no longer has any options, she tries to press somewhere on her body in order to call her teacher Jin to the rescue. At this moment, the course of events ends abruptly, and we are abruptly transported to the ordinary outside world, in which the usual affairs of workers and merchants go on as usual, and our main character is in this place. Approaching him closer, we understand that this girl did not just thoughtlessly say the name of our main character, she was able to call him in some strange way, but the main thing is that her call for help reached. After a couple of moments, they decide to send us into memories. We watch as our main character sits on the roof with his student. He tells her that there are still three days before the opening of the limitless secret limit. Next, our main character takes something strange out of his pocket and informs his student that when she encounters danger in the secret limit, she must simply touch the time and space tag. A couple of moments after this, our main character passes this strange thing to his student. After she takes it in her hands, he repeats it to her and reminds her that she should keep it as close to her body as possible. When the girl asks why, our main character immediately answers that in this case, he will be able to instantly get out through this tag and help her in any situation in which she may find herself. Despite the character of a real sundere of this girl, she takes this small gift from our main character and, according to his recommendations, puts it as close to her heart near the collarbone. A couple of moments after Miao Lin installed this thing on her body, she asked her teacher to carefully get out. Seeing where this girl put this thing, the guy told her that she didn't need to be so close. Then we return back to the present time. Our main character at this moment feels as good as possible because his student went to the limit, and now he has time for himself with his beloved Giga Chad. After our main character had free time, he immediately headed to his favorite establishment to order noodles with beef giblets in order to eat with pleasure. After this delicious food lands directly on our protagonist's table, his mouth immediately drops open at how delicious it smells, and he notices that Chunming beef giblets have a well-deserved reputation. Suddenly, our main character is distracted from the feast by something strange. He hears from somewhere from the side the voice of his student who asks him to urgently help her. The guy looks to the side, puzzled. Continuing to look to the side, the guy asks the question whether he imagined it, or is this really a message for help from the time and space tag that he gave to his student three days ago? Returning with Miao Ling, we observe that after she called our main character with help, nothing happened. The satisfied spider asked the empress if this was her backup option. This most creepy heavenly demon empress continued to behave like a real spider. She asked her victim to stop waging this useless fight for survival, but the girl continued. After a couple of moments, this spider decides to tear off the very same tag given by our main character from the girl, while she is in the air, the spider says that she is sorry that this thing is not there. It was not of any use. But literally a second passes after this tag is in the air. But after a couple of moments it stops because our main character, who appeared here at the most opportune moment, suddenly grabs it. Moreover, our main character made sure that in order to appear in the most ridiculous form in a cap, the surprised spider turns back and wonders who the hell he is and how he appeared here. 
But after a couple of moments, this spider stopped talking, because the next second she receives a powerful hook in the jaw from our main character, which makes her realize that she ran into the wrong person. The blow of our main character is so powerful that he easily throws this spider very far and for a long time, even though this blow was delivered with absolutely bare hands without any spells. Immediately after our main character easily deals with the spider, he removes the web with a wave of his hand and asks his student if she is okay and what happened here anyway. After this gigachad in this maximally cool cap lands down with his student, she begins to clear her throat. The guy asks Miao Ling where Ching Si is now and why they have not been together all this time. But after such a battle, Miao Ling doesn't have the strength to tell our main character everything. She falls to the ground and tells him that she can just show him her memories to save energy. After a couple of moments, we understand that our protagonist's student has great Bluetooth ability. She lightly touches our protagonist's forehead, thereby transmitting to him her recent memories. As soon as this girl touches the mark of our main character, he immediately in an instant receives all the memories of this girl about what happened in this place, a really convenient way, but how to clear the history. After looking at all the memories, our main character immediately understood that Leng Ya and this spider girl had the same thing from the very beginning in order to find a suitable body for her. Leng Ya took this idiot Bai Xiao Hua everywhere in a duel. A couple of moments later, our protagonist's student asks him why he's wearing a monkey mask, because it looks very stupid. The guy replies that with it, he can use the powers of half a saint and break through boundaries. Next, our main character decides to explain to his student the history of this in more detail. He tells her that after killing the monster from the secret limit with the help of the monster's spirit, he pretended to be part of the limit. Hearing this, the student of our main character immediately concluded that this girl used the powers of half a saint, which means that she killed half a holy monster. After the guy heard all this, he confirmed. After a couple of moments, the course of events is interrupted, and we are transported to the same spider that is imprinted into the wall. She does not understand what terrible power this guy has. He broke her spirit into pieces with one blow. Apparently, he had the spirit of a monster. Moreover, this girl guessed that the guy had a spirit from the heart of the secretly limiting power of the Holy Monkey King. The spirit could not stand it and moved into the body of the Empress. But she is not a guy. She could use the path to retreat. A couple of moments after this monster girl realized that she had received a lot of damage from one blow, she decided to look at her hands. She realized that these two were able to injure her monster. Returning to these two, we hear how the student of our main character is very surprised that her teacher came very quickly because she only called with a tag, and he is already here. The guy listens contentedly to the praise. After a couple of moments, our main character is suddenly confused by something. He asks his student to look at the ground and be more careful, because there is definitely something underground, and his spider sense cannot deceive him. Next, we watch the combo of that same spider who somehow mysteriously appears here from underground. She screams that no matter how many men there are who mind their own business, she will kill them all. A couple of moments later, we watch as this girl acquired an improved form of the monster. Meanwhile, she sends poison to these two with the Empress of the Heavenly Demons. She also screams at them to die. But despite such a powerful attack, these two still manage to dodge this poisonous attack. The student of our main character warns him to be careful with her, but the guy in response to this simply shouts to his student to run away. A couple of moments after our main character realizes that Bio continues, he jumps high and once again prepares to use the essence of the monster inside himself with the help of a mask, delivering an incredible blow. After our main character finds an incredibly good moment to deal damage, he turns into Stan from Jojo Star Platinum and deals this spider a colossal number of blows at the same time. But despite the case when our main character struck last time, this time his blows caused much less damage and this was noticed by the spider herself, Jin realized that the whole point was in her skin, which had become stronger. Immediately after this spider realized that the blows of our main character no longer caused her colossal damage, she attacked him again. But the guy, instead of dodging, simply put a block. Even though our main character was very strong during the last battle, this time it was very difficult for him to withstand the blows of this improved spider. Immediately after blocking the blow, he jumped far back from the shockwave. Immediately after he took a safe position in the battle, he realized that all this was more difficult than he thought. He thought that now the most serious problem was that he could not break through the defense of his enemy. But the blows that this monster delivered were also a problem, because after this spider somehow improved, its characteristics increased greatly, and now it had new attacks of various types in its arsenal. Moreover, while continuing the battle, our main character immediately realized that in addition to powerful attacks, 
This spider also has poison that covers each of her attacks, which is why it is very important for him not to touch this poison. Apparently, our main character's combat intelligence was not enough to prevail in this battle, because then we watch as his student sharply warns him to be careful. He turns back, puzzled. A moment later, we understand that our main character made a critical mistake during this battle, due to which he fell into the dense web of this spider. Now, he was completely immobilized. Immediately after our main character fell into this web for a moment, this spider immediately took the opportunity and made him into a real butterfly who wants to be born and become beautiful. Next, we watch the incredibly pleased face of this spider, who is very pleased that she finally managed to catch our main character in a cocoon, and now no one can stop them from carrying out their personal battle further. This whole process was observed by the student of our protagonist, who was very panicked in the bushes and did not understand what to do while her teachers were going to eat, while her teacher was tied up in a web. But after a couple of moments, this girl's 200 IQ finally worked, and a brilliant idea appeared in her head on how she could save our main character and her teacher with a 100% chance. Next, we go back to this spider who can't get enough of the fact that she managed to catch this incredible strong guy. She laughed and questioningly wondered if she really could win. Next, this spider monster with an incredible level of power understood that the time had come for the sweetest dessert to finally start killing the girl who ruined her whole life and destroyed her sect. But a couple of moments after this spider decided what she would do next, suddenly some strange movements began in the cocoon. Our main character sharply began to resist searching for this spider. A couple of moments after this, we saw how our main character, being inside the trap, made many cuts with a sword that he did not have with him. Nevertheless, he caused colossal damage to this cocoon. Literally a moment passes and we understand that our main character right now has in his hands the same imperial sword that he gave to his student. With its help, he was able to easily ensure complete freedom for himself. After Jin was released, he said that he had completely forgotten that he still had an ice sword. He understood that he was able to get out only thanks to the fact that his student Miao Lin responded in time. The spider was in shock at that moment. After our main character was finally freed, he decided that the time had come to carry out a counterattack using the Mudra of Hands and the Mudra of the Sun and Moon. His hands began to glow with a golden glow. Immediately after this, our main character began to run towards his opponent, the spider. And as he ran, he continued to use various body mudras and the mudra of one diamond. At that moment, huge golden hands appeared behind him. While our main character continued to rapidly reduce the distance to his opponent, he had already managed to connect all three mudras he had pronounced together, which meant that at that moment, he was at his strongest. This spider was not going to give up so easily, which is why she immediately gave an order to her roots to immediately stop our main character, who continued to rush towards this spider in order to destroy her.